Hey guys, Marcel here. Welcome back to my kitchen. I thought I'd hop on here and share about this easy chicken casserole we've just been loving. It's the second time I'm making it in seven days and by enthusiastic request, I am making this easy chicken pot pie bubble up casserole for the second time in just days and so good, so easy you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in here and let you know the ingredients for this delicious, easy chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. Okay guys, here's the handful of ingredients we need for this quick and easy chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. All right, so here I have, it's right about two and a half cups of leftover roasted chicken that we had. Um, and you could make chicken especially for this, or you could pick up a store-bought rotisserie chicken to make this even easier. Here it is a large russet potato. It came out to about a cup and a quarter of um, peeled and diced potato here. And then here I have another cup and a quarter of just frozen peas and carrots, which I have thawed out. We will need a can of the crescent rolls. And here I've got the Pillsbury brand, but you can do your store-bought brand or, or whatever works best for you. Spices, gonna need a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of parsley, and a little bit of thyme. Those dried spices, of course, I've always got those around. And then you need one large can of the cream of chicken soup. And then we're gonna be topping this with some cheese. You guys should know by now, love my cheesy casseroles. So, all right. We are gonna start off with opening this can of crescents and we're gonna slice these crescent rolls into little one inch bite-sized pieces. I'm right, just gonna kind of lightly flour this surface. And then I'm gonna roll out this crescent dough. And then we're just gonna cut it into little small bite-sized pieces. <clears throat> All right, so just to make it easier, I am just gonna use my pizza cutter. Okay guys, so now for the filling, we're just kind of go into a bigger bowl with everything. So here goes our chicken and then our potatoes. And then our veggies. And I did decide to go ahead and add in a little a half cup of chopped fresh onion. Just didn't feel right with no onion. And then I measured out my spices just to make it a little quicker and easier. I've got a teaspoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and then a half teaspoon of one of my favorite ingredients, uh, ground white pepper. All right, just gonna give this a quick stir. Okay, so now we have that all mixed together. And just those simple spices with the veggies and everything, guys, it smells so good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go in with our condensed soup. Just going in with the whole can. And uh, the first time I made this, I actually used the two small cans. And this time I grabbed just one of these big family size. I think the measurements are about equal, just to make it a little easier. All right, I'm just gonna give this a good stir, get it all mixed up, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay guys, and I'll just add that I don't really uh, add any extra salt into this between the condensed soup and then the cheese that we're gonna put on top. It really doesn't need it, but if you wanted to add any at all, I wouldn't add more than maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And so the next step, guys, we've got our veggies and potatoes all coated with the cream of chicken soup. We're gonna take that um, uh, chopped up crescent roll 
and put them right in here. And we're going to fold this all in and mix it in. And it, this is just, it seems a little strange, but these crescent rolls cook all through this. And as they cook, they, they bubble up where they get the name for the casserole. And we weren't sure how this would turn out, but it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. The um, crescent rolls, and the original recipe, I will say, did call for biscuits, just a regular can of biscuits, but I decided to use crescent rolls. And I think that's how we're gonna leave this because it cooks all through this mixture and it is like an inside out uh, chicken pot pie or uh, inside out kind of chicken and dumplings concept. Super, super good. Okay, so now I have my prepared nine by 13. I've just sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray and we're just gonna put this all in here. Spread it out evenly. Okay, so I've got this um, chicken pot pie mixture spread out nice and even in my pan. So now we're just going to evenly spread some cheese over the top. And I'm going to pop this into my 375 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. And those crescent rolls, the ones that ended up on top of the mixture, they'll pop up and they'll brown and there'll be these little um, little bubbles on top where the cheese rises and where the bread has, uh, has cooked underneath it. Anyhow, I'm gonna pop this in my oven, guys. I'll see you, show you the end product when it's all done. Okay guys, well, I wanted to show this to you fresh out of the oven. You can see it's still bubbling a little bit and there's that cheesy crust on top and you see those little areas, those little pockets, that's where the crescent rolls have popped up and they're all through this casserole. But like I said, it's like an inside out chicken pot pie. It's so good. I hope you guys enjoy it if you try this simple but delicious meal. Okay guys, well thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little while while I put together this easy chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. I do hope you enjoy this dish if you try it. We love it, like I said, second time we're making it and it's pretty big so it'll get us through dinner tonight and tomorrow, which totally works for me. So I do hope you like it and remember to share it with your friends if you think they'll like it too. It is on my blog, so be sure to go click that link below and print yourself a copy. Um, but that's it, guys. Uh, we are going to hop off and go eat some dinner. If you are new, stopping by my channel for the first time, please hit that red subscribe button down below. I've got lots more recipes coming up, and I'd love to have you here with me for all of it. Have a great rest of the week, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in another video really, really soon.